Welcome to another video. So, I recently covered Cerebrus Coder, which is a very cool thing that allows you to generate apps in literally less than a second, which is pretty amazing. But it seems that Grok saw that, and now they have their own coder called AppGen. It's made by Grok themselves, and it is a platform to generate and share micro apps similar to Cerebrus Coder. It can create, iterate, and remix apps with full app generation speeds of mere hundreds of milliseconds. The interface is also open source, and you'll be able to use it locally as well. I'll tell you how to do that. It uses Llama 3.3 via Grok with speculative decoding. If you don't know Grok, it's very similar to Cerebra's, and it gives you multiple open source LLMs for super fast inference. The Grok API is also free with some rate limits, which is similar to the Cerebra's APIs as well. So, this is also great. Anyway, now let me tell you about Grok's app gen, but before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all in one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT 4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. So, this is the app gen, and here you can enter the prompt about what you want to generate. Another thing that it has is this option. Here, you can draw a mock-up in this small editor about what you want to generate. This is a great touch because it helps you influence results much more. So, that's great. Another thing that it has is the voice mode. Here, you can just dictate what you want to build and it can transcribe that with the Whisper model and use it. So, this is pretty great. You can also see the gallery here, where you have community-generated apps as well. So, this is also cool. Now, let's ask it to make something. I'm going to ask it to make me a simple, good-looking tool that can take in a paragraph and tell me the number of words, characters, and lines it has. So, Let's send it here. Once we send it, you can see that it's now done, and we have the code here along with the preview. The preview here looks pretty good, and if we try to check it, then it also works fine. So, this is also pretty amazing to see. You can also reload the preview as well, and you can also share the app as well. You can just enter the name of your app along with a description, get it published, and then share the URL with anyone so they can use it as well. This is like an app generator through which you can share everything as well. That's great. But we can also ask it to make a change as well. Here, we can just ask it to do some changes. Let's ask it to make the color red. Now let's send it. Once we send it, you can just blink your eye, and it's now done. It did this pretty well. The generations with Llama 3.3 are actually really very good. So, that's great. Apart from that, we also have the option here to go back and forth between versions. So, you can easily revert back if you think you messed something up or something like that. Now, let's also try out the mock-up thing that they have. Let's hit this new button here. Now we can just hit the edit option here. Once we do that, it will open up this modal, and we can create a simple mock-up here. 
Let's make a mock-up here for a carousel. I wanted to build a carousel that looks simple and like this. Now, once we have it made, we can just click Save. And now we can just enter the prompt regarding the thing. Let's just ask it to make a carousel. Now, once that's done, we can just hit the Generate button. And once again, if we blink our eye, we can see that it's now built. And this looks pretty similar. I mean, my drawing skills aren't great. So, this is good. And we can obviously just ask it to refine it through here as well. And it will be super fast. So, that's great. This is really good for using it to build some simple stuff. And it only builds HTML code. So, that's a bummer. I hope it supports React or something soon as well. Anyway, that's how it works. It is also unlimited, unlike the Cerebras coder. So that's good. But, if you want to use it locally, then you can do that as well. So you can just come to this GitHub repo, and this is the repo for it. Now, you can just clone it on your computer. Once you have cloned it, you can just get in the folder. Once you are here, just run the npm install command, and that should get all the dependencies installed for you. Once that's done, you can create your environment file. Now, here you'll need to enter your Grok API key. You can get it for free by going to Grok's site, and then in the API key section, just create a new API key, copy it, and paste it in there. Once that's done, you can just start the npm server with the npm run devi command. Once done, it will get started on localhost and a port. Just open it up and you'll see this page. Here, you can see the similar looking interface to the one that is their hosted thing. Here, you can just enter your prompt or you can also draw something here as well. You can also do speech transcription as well if you like that. Here, you can just enter your prompt or you can also draw something here as well. You can also do speech transcription as well, if you like that. Let's enter a simple prompt to generate a good-looking landing page. Let's send it now. Once we send it and blink our eye, you can see that it's now created. So, this is super cool to see, and you can use it locally, although this would come with some rate limits, of course. So. It works well, and I think both of these options are great to use. It is helpful in creating some little apps and mockups or even basic components with it. You can easily do tailwind styling and stuff like that with it, which makes it pretty amazing to use and useful. You can also share them as well. So, if you create a smaller app and want to give access to a friend or some employees, then you can do that as well, which is a really good thing, because sometimes you only need a small app, and you wouldn't want to host it on a proper server or Vercel every time. So, this is great for sure. Llama 3.3 is also great, and it's actually really good, and it does coding really very well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.